Now, more on the latest building collapse in New York. You might have heard a few moments ago, I was talking about the Salomon Brothers building collapsing. It was because the uh, building had been weakened uh, during uh, this morning's attack. Jane, what more can you tell us about the Salomon Brothers building and its collapse? Well, only really what you already know. Details are very, very sketchy. There's almost a sense down... Now, more on the latest building collapse in New York. You might have heard a few moments ago, I was talking about the Salomon Brothers building collapsing. It was because the uh, building had been weakened uh, during uh, this morning's attack. Jane, what more can you tell us about the Salomon Brothers building and its collapse? Well, only really what you already know. Details are very, very sketchy. There's almost a sense down... You might have heard a few moments ago I was talking about the Salomon Brothers building collapsing, and indeed it has. It was because the building had been weakened during this morning's attacks. What more can you tell us about the Salomon Brothers building and its collapse? Well, only what you already know. Details are very, very sketchy. Once again, I'm not going to do British pronunciation, but the key words you need to hear. You might have heard, very short. You might have heard, it's not you might have heard, it's you might have heard, you might have heard, you might have heard. So just like actually the you might have, the, we hear the A, the E, but there is no H, seven H's, might have, flap T sounded like a D. You might have heard a few moments ago, a few moments ago, a few moments ago. Once again, the S can cancel the T moments ago. I was talking. Actually, he said talking, which is very British. I think everybody heard it. Great job. But almost nobody heard that. I was talking about, I was talking about, I was. We don't say I, and the BBC doesn't either. It's a, uh, a, uh, very short, a, uh, I was... I was, I was talking about, I was talking about, American pronunciation, talking, British, talking. I was talking about, I was talking about, so listen again, you'll hear it. I was talking about, I was talking about, I was talking about, I was talking about, I was talking about the Solomon Brothers building collapsing. And indeed it has, and indeed it has. Very British expression, we do say it in America, but more common in the UK, I think, and indeed it has, indeed it has, indeed it has. Keep the H in this expression, and indeed it has. You might have heard, you might have heard a few moments ago, I was talking about the Salomon Brothers building collapsing, and indeed it has. It was because the building had been, the building had been, maybe the H was a little bit weak, but listen again, you'll hear it. And if this is had been weakened, so if you wrote this but you missed this, grammar mistake, it's possible. It's tough to hear. We have an N and a D weakened, but actually listen again and you should hear it weakened. Uh, I think it says uh, during this morning's attack. During this morning's attack. Very quick. During this morning's attack. Get the S here. So weakened weekend during this morning's attack. So it can be a stop sound, weekend, or we could finish it, weekend. It's different than weekend. Weekend is Saturday, Sunday, or if you're Muslim, Friday, Saturday, right? I think so. Uh, weekend. This is weekend. Weekend. Not weekend. Weekend. Uh, it was because the building had been weakened. It was because the building had been weakened during this morning's attacks. Let's say it together. American pronunciation, not too fast. One, two, three. You might have heard a few moments ago I was talking about the Solomon Brothers building collapsing, and indeed it has. It was because the building had been weakened during this morning's attacks. What more can you tell us? What more can you tell us? What more can you tell us about the... Now, about the Salomon. It should be the Salomon. 
T-H-E, consonant, we don't say the, we say the. However, he does say the, and we can say the if we really want to emphasize something, and he is emphasizing not the World Trade Center Tower 1 or Tower 2, he's emphasizing this building, the Solomon Brothers Building, which is a 47-story uh, building. Okay, he's, he's emphasizing specifically this building. What more can you tell us about the Solomon Brothers Building and its collapse, and its collapse? It's possessive, and it's collapse. So he kept the D, and the T is weak, and it's k. We don't say collapse, collapse, collapse. Well, only really what you already know. All right. The words are easy. Only really, so this might be confusing, couple of adverbs here. Only really, here we know, T plus Y, we get that ch. What ch already, now. What ch already, that's where it's difficult. I'll try British. Only really, what ch already know, what ch already know, what ch already know, what ch already, what ch already, already. American pronunciation is going to sound the same. Only really, what ch already know, what ch already. Look at the sound. What you. Now, we know that the U has three sounds. We can say U, we can say Ya, and we can say Y, Y. Okay? And I tell you, I always tell you, this is the most common. Only really L's and R's. Keep them straight. Only really what you already know. Only really what you already know. Only really what you already know. Details are very, very sketchy. Very, very sketchy. Probably a new word. Check your glossary. Details, details, both are possible. Sometimes we say details. Sometimes we say details. Both are possible. Okay? Whew. Very, very... Especially to my Russian friends. Get the V sound. Very, very. Very, 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 very. No. Very, very. Get the R too. Betty? No. Very, very sketchy.